got greens, mac and cheese, dressing, yams, turkey, chicken, ham. Brandon, you better not be filming me. What are you me. talking about? <laughs> Hey smileys, it's my first nail day video of the year. Let's get right to it. Yes, you are witnessing me cutting off all of my nails. I've already broken quite a few doing, I don't even know what. I like to start all over when they get like this and it's actually no different than getting a haircut. It's just like a big chop, but the nail version. So chop chop and on with my nail prep. So first we file. I'm just going to even them up and smooth the edges a bit more. Sometimes trimming with clippers will leave behind some really sharp corners and we want to make sure that we just don't have any here. And then we clean. I'm using my wooden orange stick. I didn't leave much nail behind so there's not a lot to clean here. And then we're going to finish up with a bit of buffing to smooth out my nail beds before we wash and towel dry. And that wraps up nail prep. This is actually my first time applying false nails, but I figure what's the worst thing that can happen? I ordered these on Amazon. They seem to be decent quality, but I am not a licensed nail technician. The reviews were good though, so I gave them a try. There are 500 nails and 10 different sizes. These are a coffin nail shape. I also purchased the stiletto nail shape, which I didn't show you here, my bad, but they are very pretty as well. I'll be sure to put them in a different video. Now the first thing I did was picked out the nails that best fit my natural nails. We want to make sure these fake nails look as real as possible, right? I have unusually small fingers and fingernails, so I had to do some additional shaping with my file to get them all to fit just right. Then I applied a small amount of nail glue to each nail and pressed firmly for about five seconds to get it to stick to my natural nail bed. And that was pretty easy. And that's what I'm doing here. And this nail glue came with a very fine point which made it easier to gauge how much I was using. Not enough and you get air pockets underneath the nail and too much it spills into your cuticles which is not fun. I would recommend using the glue sparingly if you'd rather be safe than sorry. But like I mentioned, the nails came from Amazon. I purchased the nail glue at Sally's for about $5, I think. Okay, just a couple more to go. This process took me about I'd say 15 minutes, just making sure they were on the nail bed straight and I didn't have them looking crazy. Final one. And here's what they look like right after I've applied them all. Not bad. The nails have a ridge at the tip, so I'm going to smooth it out with a nail file to save my bed sheets later. I'm also smoothing out the sides, but I'm making sure I don't change the actual shape of the nail because I really like this shape and I want to make sure I keep it. They're a bit long, but I can make it work. I like long nails. Skipping the base coat tonight, and I'm also not using any acrylic baby steps. 
The color I chose is from Revlon's Brilliant Strength Collection and it's called Impress. It's a great color for fall and a definite member of the nude family. I really love nude colors and this is a great one. I think I've actually worn this one on my natural nails before. Taupin nudes are for clean cut girls who are glamorous yet secure enough not to follow every trend. Pretty and polished, feminine without being high maintenance. And next week I'll be in a bold red, so stick around for that. <laughs> If you like the content in this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to my subscribers, old and new. My channel has been up for about three months now. Time is really flying. And I just, I have lots of love, peace, positivity, and more beauty tips on the way. So you definitely want to stay tuned, smileys. Our top coat is Sally Hansen's Big Matte Top Coat. I've used the Big Shiny Top Coat in my videos before. They also make a Big Smoky Top Coat, a Big Glitter Top Coat, and a Big Shimmer Top Coat. The Big Matte Top Coat gives any base color a flat matte finish. All you have to do is apply one coat over fully dried nails and watch it dry to a beautiful matte finish. Only one coat. I love them. Hope you all like them too. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna use my keyboard tomorrow. Ciao, love you. Mwah.